Cuban bulrush, Cyparis blepharoleptos. Cuban bulrush spreads by small reddish runners or rhizomes and can cover small areas. It is common in freshwater marshes of North and Central Florida. Cuban bulrush is quite different from southern bulrush and soft stem bulrush. This bulrush grows only one and a half to three feet tall. Its stems are sharply triangular and smooth. Cuban bulrush is very leafy, while other common Florida bulrushes have no leaves at all. Its leaves all grow from the base of the plant. They are narrow and ribbon-like, about a quarter inch wide and up to three to four feet long. Many of the leaves are longer than the stem, and the inflorescence is at the tip of the stem. The distinctive feature of this inflorescence is the long leaf-like bracts that spread around the base of the inflorescence. The inflorescence itself is umbel-like, meaning that its stalks arise more or less from the same place. Each stalk is topped by a dense, spherical head about three quarters of an inch in diameter. These heads of Cuban bulrush contain many spikelets. The reddish-brown spikelets have scales that are spiral and overlapping. The fruit is an olive nutlet about an eighth of an inch long. Cuban bulrush can be confused with other plants of the genus Cyparis. The best difference is that Cuban bulrush has one to six dense burr-like cluster heads. This bulrush has a sharply triangular stem. It has many long, narrow leaves that arise from the base of the plant. Around the bottom of the umbel-like inflorescence are two to six very long leaf-like bracts. The inflorescence has dense, burr-like heads.